We'll be open in a minute. What's the name of this place? You're new here, aren't you? Where? Do you want breakfast? Where is this? The village? Yes. I'll see if coffee's ready. Where's the police station? There isn't one. Can I use your phone? Oh, we haven't got one. Where can I make a call? Well, there's a phone box around the corner. Thank you. Exchange is this? Number, please. I want to make a call to. Local calls only. What is your number, sir? I haven't got a number. No number, no call. Take me to the nearest town. Oh, we're only the local service. Take me as far as you can. Why did you speak to me in French? French is international. I suppose it's a waste of time asking the name of this place. As a matter of fact, I thought you might be Polish, perhaps a Czech. What would Poles or Czechs be doing here? It's very cosmopolitan. You never know who you meet next. We are only local. The charge is two units. Units? Credit units. Oh, well, pay me next time. Be seeing you. Uh, 
e procurare per la leva. E scappare e picca di grana, so salire o per l'idea che fa sentire. O salare o per scalare o per girare la zona. So would you help yourself to find that moment? Thank you. Who could that? Be seeing you. Good morning, sir. What can I do for you then? Like a map of this area. Map? Color or black and white? Just a map. I think you'll find that shows everything. I, I, I meant a, a larger map. Only in colour, sir. Much more expensive. Yeah, that's fine. Your area. No, we only have local maps, sir. There's no demand for any others. You're new here, aren't you? Where can I get a hire car? Self-drive. No self-drive. Only taxis. I've tried those. Well, I look forward to the pleasure of your custom, sir. Are you seeing you? Yes, sir. At last, delighted to see you. Come in, come in. Do sit down. I'm sorry, I can never resist that. I hope you don't mind a working breakfast.
Tea or coffee? Tea. Indian or China? Either. With lemon. One or two eggs with your bacon. Two? That will be all. Help yourself to toes. I suppose you're wondering what you're doing here. It had crossed my mind. What's it all about? Sit down and I'll tell you. It's a question of your resignation. Go on. The information in your head is priceless. I don't think you realize what a valuable property you've become. A man like you is worth a great deal on the open market. Who brought me here? I know how you feel, believe me. And they have taken quite a liberty. Who are they? A lot of people are curious about what lies behind your resignation. You had a brilliant career. Your record is impeccable. They want to know why you suddenly left. What people? Now, uh, personally, I believe your story. I do think it was a matter of principle. But uh, what I think doesn't really count, does it? One has to be sure about these things. And that gives you the right to poke your nose into my private business? Now, please. It's my job to check your motives. I've been checked. Of course, but when a man knows as much as you do, a double check does no harm. A few details may have been missed. I don't know who you are or who you work for. And I don't care. I'm leaving. Have you not yet realized there's no way out? Now, look, I have something that will interest you. <laughs> Oh, feel free. A most important day, remember? Getting ready to meet Chambers, about to become late of the Foreign Office. You were hoping to uh, persuade him to change his mind before the big boys found out. You waited and waited, but he never turned up. A nice guy, Chambers. And so talkative. You see, there's not much we don't know about you, but one likes to know everything. For instance, do you remember that time you arrived back from Singapore? Change of climate, feeling a bit shaky. You were sickening for a cold. Sneezed yourself out of our camera. Deciding to take a vacation? Now, where can you go? Ireland? A bit too cold that time of the year. Paris? Maybe not. What was that? Sounded like a click. Something in the mirror? Or was it over there? Yes, over there, too. As I said, one likes to know everything. For instance, I had no idea you liked lemon tea. The time of my birth is missing. Well, there you are. Now, let's bring it all up to date. 4.31 a.m., 19th of March, 1928. I have nothing to say. Is that clear? Absolutely nothing. Now, be reasonable, old boy. It's just a matter of time. Sooner or later, you'll tell me. Sooner or later, you'll want to. Let's make a deal. You cooperate. Tell us what we want to know, and this can be a very nice place. You may even be given a position of authority. I will not make any deals with you. I've resigned. I will not be pushed, filed, stamped, indexed, briefed, debriefed, or numbered. My life is my own. Is it? Yes. You won't hold me. Won't we? Let me prove that we will. Come on, show you. We can take this up later. You're receiving me? Loud and clear. Quite a beautiful place, really, isn't it? Almost like a world on its own. I shall miss it when I'm gone. Oh, it will grow on you. We have everything here. Water, electricity. There's the council building. We have our own council, democratically elected. We also use it for public meetings, amateur theatricals. Fascinating. Yes, indeed. There's the restaurant. But did you know we have our own little newspaper? You must send me a copy. <laughs> You'll be the death of me. We also have our own graveyard. 
But you'd be more interested in our uh, social club, I think. Members only, but I'll see what I can do for you. You're too kind. Now, if you have any problems, there's our Citizens Advice Bureau. They do a marvelous job. Everybody's very nice. You might even meet people you know. see the funny side of that. I'm told some people even get seasick on it. What are they here for? St. Fighters dance? <laughs> I'm glad you've still got your sense of humor. Well, they're the senior citizens. Of course, they have every comfort. You see, you're looked after here for as long as you live. Brilliant background. You see that old gentleman there? Ex-admiral. Excellent chess player. Hope you find some partner. Jackson! How do you like it? Charming. It will grow on, you know? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Go straight through. Ah, 
This is our new friend. Everything's ready, sir. Will you sit down? Well, first of all, the aptitude test. <laughs> now the questionnaire. Just fill in your race, religion, hobbies, what you like to read, what you like to eat, what you were, what you want to be, any family illnesses, any politics. Never mind, you can get all you need from this. I think we have a challenge. I'm your personal maid. Labor Exchange sent me. That's another mistake they made. Get out! I can remember. Your parents? They died when I was a child. You don't remember them? I found out it's wiser not to ask questions. We have a saying here. A still tongue makes a happy life. People must have tried to get away from here. How many have succeeded? Don't ask. Has anyone ever escaped? Some have tried. They've been brought back. Not always alive. Oh. What are you afraid of? Nothing. I've said too much. What time tomorrow? <laughs> I know what you would think of me. <laughs> Put yourself into my position. They offered me my freedom in exchange. Exchange for what? Get into your confidence. Make you trust me. And tell them everything about you. Then they let you go. You believe that? 
With that knowledge in your head, you really believe that they'd let you go? I hadn't thought about that. Obviously not. They might. They might let me go. If you give me some sort of information. Oh, please help me. Please help me. Your services will not be required tomorrow. Don't forget what you came back for. She was most convincing. I felt sure she was going to pull it off. He's no ordinary man. This has got to be handled very differently. That could be dangerous. You know how important this is. Electric, sir. Sorry about the intrusion. Help yourself. Why do you drive those things? What? The tractors. They're steady. Get you there in the end. Bit slow. In an emergency, we walk. I, uh, I feel like a bit of a walk myself. Feel free. He's seeing you. And you. Showers later. Careful, sir. They're new plants. Sorry. Goodbye. Attention, post 14. Attention, post 14. Yellow alert. Yellow alert. Yellow alert. Now leaving northern perimeter, number six. Repeat. Number six. Now approaching. Contact imminent. Contact imminent. Number six, heading for outer zone in our vehicle. Orange alert. Orange 
alert all units. How are you feeling, son? You've had a nasty experience. Where am I? You're in the hospital, son. Well, now, I can fix it yourself. I'll just tell the doctor that you're awake. What are you doing here? And you? Don't know. Can't remember much. How long have you been here? Mm. Three, four weeks. Months. It's difficult to work out. What happened to you? Why are they doing? Keep asking me questions. They want to know all about me. You told them? No. I don't know. Dad, I must sleep. Oh, this is important. Who brought you here? How'd you get here? Who brought you? I was in Germany. I'm uh, going back to my hotel. I went into the bedroom. I think I went to bed. <laughs> I was here. What are you doing out of bed? You should be resting. There's nothing the matter with me. Perhaps not. But I'd just like a checkup to make sure. I'm all right. I want to leave. Let me be the judge of that. The after effects can be quite unpleasant. I'd like to put my mind at rest. Please come with me. What if I don't? It's for your own good. I advise you to. Very well. There's nothing to worry about. The tests are quite routine. <laughs> Therapy counteracts obsessional guilt complexes producing neurosis. No, it's everything's medical. Mm -hmm. No, of course not. No, of course I don't mind. One has to make sure of these things. Everything's in order. You're absolutely fit. So? I told you, you're free to go in the morning. We'll fix you up with some new clothes. About my old ones. They've been bad. Why? I'll take you to your ward. The amnesia case, sir. Cobb, he's jumped out of the window. He's dead. Here's your employment card. Your card of identity. Your health and welfare card. Your credit card. And a free ride home.
his place. I am the new number two. Get number one. As far as you're concerned, I'm in charge. What can I do for you? Come. What we do here has to be done. It's the law of survival. It's either them or us. You imprison people, steal their minds, destroy them. Depends on whose side you're on, doesn't it? I'm on our side. But we have to find out where your sympathies lie. You know where they lie. Subject shows great enthusiasm for his work. He is utterly devoted and loyal. Is this a man that suddenly walks out? And I didn't walk out. I resigned. People change, exactly. So do loyalties. Not mine. All very commendable. But let's be practical. I'm interested in facts. Your only chance to get out of here is to give them to me. And if you don't give them, I'll take them. It's up to you. Think about it. Good day, number six. Number what? Six. For official purposes, everyone has a number. Yours is number six. I am not a number. I am a person. Six of one, half a dozen of another. Good day. Report on number six, normal classification on arrival subject showed shock symptoms, followed by accepted behavior pattern. Since then has been uncooperative and distinctly aggressive, attempted to escape. Subject proving exceptionally difficult, but in view of his importance, no extreme measures to be used yet. of yours? You knew him? No. You're crying. Funerals make me emotional. Even those are people you don't know? Yes. I knew Cobb. I'd like to help. He's dead. He was a friend of mine. We met some time ago. How do I know I can trust you? I trust you. You know how he died? He jumped from a window. I'm sorry. Had you known him long? No. Just a short while. Where did you meet? Here? Yes. Yes. Cobb was a good man. When can we talk again? We'd better not. We must. Twelve o'clock at the concert. Thought you weren't coming. I want to help. How? I know a way out. We planned an escape. They found out. No. They came sooner than Cobb expected. He was expecting them? In here, you have only so much time to give them what they want before they take it from you. This time it comes, so we're yours. Can you fly a helicopter? I might. It's due here at two o'clock. Only stays a couple of hours each trip. How's it going? Electronically. You will need an electro pass. A what? An electro pass. It's synchronized with the alarm system and lets you through. Where do I get it? From me. Where is it? Safely hidden. If this gadget is so important, how did you get one? I knew the last pilot. You did this for Cobb? I'll meet you by the stone boat at two o'clock. Goodbye.
not volunteered any information so far, but appears to be settling down. He even attended the regular brass band concert today. Thank you, my dear. More tea? Thank you. You've done very well. Pity about Cobb. Still, it wasn't your fault. Never mind. There's no blot on your record. You'll find the details of your new assignment in here. We shall be watching your progress with great interest. Come along, young man. We haven't got all day. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Your mind's not on the game. My apologies, sir. I'll give you another chance. No, no, if you excuse me, I'm not on form today. I think I'll take a little stroll. Try the boat. What? I said try the boat. She's great in any weather. Sailed a many a time. Have a good trip. Yeah. Here. Electropath. Hurry, not much time. Who gave you this? Your boss. Doing a number two's house. You saw me? I saw you leave after you'd made your report. You're assigned to me. I was assigned to Cobb, too. And you betray me in the same way. I haven't betrayed either of you. We were trying to get out before it was too late. Soon it'll be too late for you. <laughs> You're coming. No. Why not? I never intended to without him. You're coming with me. Go and go now before it's too late. <laughs>
of chess with you? I don't play. You should learn. We're all pawns, my dear. Your move. I think I'll let him keep the watch, Cobb. Just to remind him, escape is not possible. Don't be too hard on the girl. She was most upset at my funeral. Don't worry, she'll be well taken care of. Yes. That's what I was afraid of. Oh, well, I'd better be going. Got a long journey. Just to keep my new masters waiting. We'll be delighted with you. Give them our compliments. I will. And I'll tell them there are no loopholes. I appreciate that. I do hope that your stay had its lighter moments. Oh, wow. You'll find him a tough nut to crack. I'll be the same.